Hello and welcome to the Art of AV and Room Design webinar. This session is all about creating unforgettable and customizable AV experiences. My name is Joyce Bibb, Marketing Manager at Shure Middle East and Africa, and I will be one of your hosts for today's session. With great pleasure, I would like to introduce to you our guest speakers. Anthony Lovell, Senior Global Market Development Manager, Discussion and Conference representing Shure. We have Monte Romero, International Sales representing Arthur Home, and Javier Mina, Sales Manager from JMM. Before I hand over the mic to our lovely speakers, I would like to mention some housekeeping rules. We're currently not broadcasting from our usual controlled environment due to the pandemic. So please be patient if we run into any technical issues. This is a listening session only, so all mics are muted on entry. Should you have any questions for the presenters, please drop them in the Q&A box and we will answer all your questions at the end of the session. On how to access the Q&A box, if you're using the web, look for the question mark icon. And if you're using the desktop app, look for the gray toolbar with the orange box that has the white arrow and click to expand. And finally, this session is being recorded. We will share the recording by email in the coming days. You can also access the recording of this and the previous webinars on the Shure Middle East and Africa YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. And without further ado, let the session officially begin. Anthony, over to you. Thanks, Joyce, and hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us to look at how Arthur Home and Shaw can provide integrated solutions to fit into the workspaces that are being designed today. As Joyce said, my name is Anthony Lovell. I'm the Senior Global Market Development Manager for Shaw's Conference and Discussion Systems. I'm delighted to be joined from Barcelona by Monsa Romero of Arthur Home, as well as, as well as Javier Mina from JMM, who is based in Valencia. And without further ado, and sorry, Monsa, but I'm uh, ignoring the ladies first. Uh, I'll kick off this discussion by giving a little bit of background on Shore, our products, and how we enable people to make the most of their meetings. At Shore, we take audio very seriously. Because for us, interacting with your fellow participants through good old fashioned conversation really is the main point of a meeting. But very quickly, a little history lesson for you. We began life back in 1925 in Chicago, USA, so we've been around for a while. Like any company with such history, we've altered tax slightly in terms of exact product mix over the years. But we've always been an audio company, and this quote from our founder, Mr. Sidney Shaw, embodies our spirit of innovation throughout all those years. And by the way, if you think you recognize that mic there in the background, well, maybe you've seen it in the hands of various people over the years, including this particular chap. Today, we're headquartered in Niles, Illinois, so just outside our original home of Chicago. We have presence all over the world and maintain this through our nearly 40 manufacturing facilities and regional sales offices across the globe, including the office in Dubai, UAE, where I'm based. This extensive presence is further strengthened through a comprehensive network of agencies and partner companies across the globe. We operate across three main verticals being MCA, Pro and integrated systems. So uh, the retail elements that the consumer would use, uh, professional gear that would go out on concerts around the, around the world, and systems that are built into the offices that we all work in. Across all three of those verticals, we know that a great audio experience matters, and that all starts with the microphone that is picking up your message. So how does the world of live music, broadcast, and studio recording affect what we are talking about today? as in creating great meeting environments. Well, throughout our history, artists, performers, and public figures have been trusting Shaw and our microphones and audio solutions to get their voice and message across to their audience. So in the same way that singers need perfect audio to make a living or public figures need great audio to support, to get support for their cause, well, corporations, education facilities, and governments need reliable audio to effectively engage with their clients, teams, and constituents. So these meetings I've talked about, what form do they take? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes, each with its own set of goals and challenges. Starting in the top left, the traditional lecture or speech environment, predominantly one-way traffic, 
but hopefully with some sort of interaction. Moving across the boardroom side of things, more collaboration with multiple parties contributing to the meeting. Maybe the introduction of features such as agenda management, voting and so on. Down to the traditional conference setup as regularly seen in larger teaching and corporate spaces, as well as of course, government. Here we'd expect to see a lot more back and forth conversations between all the participants involved. These systems can also include features that offer further structure to the meeting, such as you know, participant management, tighter scheduling, including speech time limits, interpretation, and so on. And last but not least in the bottom left corner there, we have the eponymous video conferencing setup. It's become so large a part of all our lives this year. Often a bit of an amalgamation, or at least a partial substitute for all of the other scenarios, the key thing here is to have consistency of quality and availability of information, whether in the form of the spoken word or a more visual method on screens. So therefore, there's plenty of different types of meetings and not surprisingly, they take place in a variety of settings too. So whether a meeting is a, a national or a regional parliament, or maybe, I don't know, a government hearing or a courtroom, a council meeting in chambers, and of course, the board and meeting rooms, huddle spaces, etc. Between us, we have to ensure the end users have the tools they need to achieve a successful meeting. Now, as stated before, we at Shaw concentrate on the audio side of things. And, and so before we look at our any solutions, I'd just like to include a very quick word on room acoustics. All of the various settings mentioned above present unique challenges. So whether it's a historic council building that was built hundreds of years ago without any consideration for the requir requirements of modern governments, I mean, look at those lovely concave ceilings that you know, basically create whispering galleries. Or even for more modern settings, you know, glass, glass, glass everywhere, all that noise bouncing around inside that fishbowl. There's probably no such thing as a perfect meeting room when it comes to ideal acoustics. Yes, there are possible solutions in terms of things like acoustic tiles or paneling for the walls, or dressing options for the ceiling, thick carpets and soft furnishings always help to deaden the room's ambient noise level. But we probably also need to have a variety of solutions to best answer the need for great audio in our meetings. Luckily, we believe we do have a wide range of solutions for whatever the mix of setting and feature requests may be. From our entry level wired microphones that can either stay on the desk or tables, through to more advanced systems that come in a variety of form factors and can be stored either in or on the credenza at the side of the room, to far more complex solutions we have you covered. Please be aware that the choice of which system to plump for, especially when we're talking about wireless options, can sometimes be led by the unseen environment in terms of what else is going on in the spaces all around your particular meeting room. So the rooms either side or even on the floors above or below. So between our wireless products, including Microflex Wireless seen here, along with the ULXD, QLXD and MXCW, we have to cover a very wide range of the audio spectrum and in certain instances, some products will provide more solid results than others. This is why we have to have such a range of solutions. Uh, and just whilst on this slide, I'd like to draw attention to our recently launched network speakers and mute button, as well as our audio processing capabilities and software for both configuring microphones for optimal performance, but also managing them across your whole office, building, or even campus. Combined, this means that not only do our products look and sound great, but they now also come as part of their own complete audio ecosystem with asset management capabilities built in. And we'll touch upon that a bit more in a while. But with that in mind, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about our multi-award winning Microflex Advance range that has been phenomenally successful over the last few years. So what's the similarity between these pictures? Well, that's right. The musician, the politician, and the lecturer are talking right into the microphone to make sure that they convey their message. Because for years and years, that's what people were told to do. Get that mic right up to your lips. Don't mumble, you'll sound fine. But then four or so years ago, Shaw did something just a little bit different when we launched our MXA 910 ceiling array microphone. The whole premise here is that we pick up all the participants in the meeting through that single microphone unit mounted up there on the ceiling. By doing this, we immediately remove the need to either have each participant individually mic'd up with say a lapel or a Lavalier microphone, or they don't all need to be equipped with their own gooseneck microphone unit, hence freeing up desk space. Or we can simply avoid those awkward moments of silence in the meeting as we wait for the poor junior member to have to ferry the handheld microphone from board member to board member. 
Whichever of those options we may previously have employed, we have now removed clutter, freed up the hands of all the participants, avoided the sharing of equipment, and most importantly, quite possibly improved the audio experience. We do this as follows. Wikipedia, that font of all knowledge, tells us that an array microphone is any number of microphones working in tandem. In the case of the MXA 910, we can have up to eight independent lobes working together. It may help to think of these spotlights, of these as spotlights or torch beams or even ice cream cones as illustrated in the graphic here. Lobes can be configured individually to cover various sized areas so we can hone one particular lobe in on say a chair person and have others cover several participants at once. And for those larger meeting spaces that may need more lobes to achieve optimal coverage, we just scale up the number of 910s. And in the same way that meeting spaces come in many different configurations, so the MXA 910 can cover different setups. So whether we're talking about a central table with participants all around it, or maybe a classroom setup for a training room perhaps, or a U-shaped meeting format, the system operates in the same way. The beauty of the system is that a lobe is only triggered when someone within its target area, if you like, is speaking, therefore eliminating background noise, such as, I don't know, a colleague typing notes, the HVAC system, the whir of a projectors fan maybe. Anyway, add in autofocus technology, which means the lobes will track you as you move a little from side to side, and we ensure consistently great audio throughout the meeting whoever is speaking and wherever they're located. Now, as we've seen earlier, there are plenty of styles of room. And so in the same way, we provide various mounting methods. So the MXA 910 could be mounted within either a hard ceiling or a ceiling grid, pole mounted on a VESA mount, or even suspended from a cable system. But still, there could be some scenarios where we need something different. Maybe the 910 doesn't crack it. So as well as the 910, we also launched the MXA310, which is more in line with the, let's call them traditional conference call microphones units, in that it, it's, at least it's on the desk. However, where it's very different to the desktop units of the past is in the technology employed. So this is a little simpler than its bigger brother, with just four steerable arrays. As opposed to the ice cream cone analogy used with the 910, I'd suggest that here it's simpler to think in terms of slices of a pizza. So imagine that the ladies on the left of the table here are sat within one slice each, whilst their three colleagues on the right-hand side are covered by the other two quarters of the total pizza. As with the 910, each pizza slice or array is independently steerable and configurable, and we can choose from independent polar patterns. All of this gives us a really clean audio signal that both those in the room and possibly even more, those at the other end of the call can appreciate. As with the 910, for those instances where it's not practical to have larger numbers of people huddled around a single unit, well, no problem. Simply combine a number of units to provide the best possible coverage for all in the meeting. And with this product, we introduced a new polar pattern to the industry, which is the Toroid, and you can see it here. In keeping with the fast developing food fixation of this presentation, let's just call this a donut. The beauty of this is that it provides 360 degree coverage around the table, while rejecting the overhead noise from the HVAC projectors or such like. So in those rooms where it's just not possible to use an MXA 910 by hanging from or mounting within the ceiling because of other features already present, then the MXA 310 could well be the answer. And without giving too much away, I'm fairly sure that Monster will soon share an idea of how to hide it away when not needed as well. Most recently, earlier this year, we've added the MXA 710 which is aimed at customers who may want something, well, in between the 910 and the 310. So we put the same microarray technology that's in our 910 into a new form factor that costs less. And this now allows us to get superior audio into those rooms that may not have or qualified for the attention, love and budgets previously. Designed for small to medium sized rooms, the new form factor allows for placement almost anywhere in a meeting space. So on a wall, hung from a ceiling, or even mounted within a table. Oh, I didn't say, but like the 910, you could wrap it in acoustically transparent material as well. So it blends in more with your theming for the room. It's available in the 60 centimeter and 120 centimeter lengths. And in case you choose not to wrap it, 
like the MXA 910 and 310, it comes in three different colors, being white, aluminium, and black. Just like our other MXA products, the 710 uses a single category cable that handles PoE power, Dante, and AES67 networked audio, and therefore the Shure control as well. It is compatible with Shure's networked audio encryption, and it leverages our designer software for easy setup and configuration, as well as system on for remote management and troubleshooting. So whichever form factor is chosen, end users can still get that consistent experience across rooms and across locations throughout the world. Shure makes this easy by providing a complete set of audio products that cover all room sizes. You just pick the mic form factor that works for your space and then design and commission your room with our designer software. Throw in a Shure MXA network mute button, may I suggest mounted within an Arthur home screen housing perhaps, add some Shure network ceiling loudspeakers, link them to your MXA microphone of choice and the Intellimix room audio processing running off your preferred PC, NUC, POS machine and you're done. But beyond these huddle, meeting, boardrooms, we get into that sort of conference or discussion system realm. And so I'll now spend a few moments looking at our offering for this market segment. Just a quick recap of what we looked at earlier and what functions governments or corporations may need to be included in a meeting to comply with their legislative framework, constitutional requirements, or just organizational practices. Well, attendee management, who's in the meeting, that's fine. Agenda's usually required, if only to avoid overruns and filibustering. Voting is an important element, obviously in a, a lot of constitutions around the world, and it is becoming equally important in the boardroom for corporations as well. Recording of what is being said and who is voting for what is generally needed also. And in many territories, meetings take place in multiple languages. And so simultaneous interpretation can be an important consideration as well. Add in the need for transcription, so it can be easily uh, picked up on later on as what was said and of course the ability to stream those meetings and have them in a remote nature as well particularly given what's happened so far this year so sure has two main offerings that encompass both great audio quality and that required functionality for this sort of meeting environment microflex complete mxc and microflex complete wireless we'll start with the wireless this is a very powerful flexible and scalable system it's designed deliberately to have a limited number of SKUs. So we have the MXC WAPT, the brain, if you like, which you see over on the left there. Then there's the MXC W640 wireless discussion unit, a variety of gooseneck lengths, depending on your choice, and a network charging station. So we can charge the batteries at the end of the day. Simply attach the APT via a single Cat5 cable to an Ethernet PoE switch, turn on your delegate units, make sure they're linked to the APT, and you're good to go. You could think of MXCW as a complete audio system in a box. Every attendee has their own unit that comes with a sure quality gooseneck mic, and this captures all of their contributions to the meeting. There's also a loudspeaker where it's most efficient, right in front of them, to ensure they hear everything from everyone else as well. Add in your DSP to ensure clear audio everywhere, the ability to structure the meeting in a variety of styles. Maybe have voting, have either designating positions with units named accordingly or free seating with attendees using NFC cards for identification purposes. And then add in intelligent wireless channel management to detect and avoid any interference. We have a really strong solution here. An example of it being used in the HQ of a national grocery store chain in Japan, uh, they choose to have the units stored away when not in use and then distributed just a few minutes before the meetings. Um, when we first launched this product, we had a tagline from cart to conference in minutes, and it really is a matter of minutes to get this up and running. Another example from the west coast of Ireland. Uh, as COVID struck, the local council found they couldn't use their usual chambers as they couldn't maintain the required physical distancing. So they shifted 150 metres down the road to the local school gymnasium. And in there, they used Shaw's MXCW wireless discussion system from a local rental partner, and they were able to have uh, people being sitting in seats, being identified with NFC, have voting going on as required, and to try and get the town back to business. Onto the wired option, and here we have a few more form factors to consider. Both portable and flush to cover different needs, adding the interpretation element in as well. A, quick, a few quick examples for you. Uh, this is a the HQ of an electric dam 
uh, in Brazil. Uh, notice the portable units on top of the desk, and they also use the MXC signs as a way of identifying whoever is speaking to those on the far end of the call. As in their meetings, there's no set seating positions. They simply pick up their sign and position it in front of them where they're sitting. The alternative would be to have the sign stay in place and have the participants use NFC cards so as they log into any particular seat, the associated MXC sign will display their name. Uh, this is the PACA assembly in southern France. So here we installed flush units, but you'll see they're on the front edge of the desk plinth as opposed to on top of the table itself. We can see the speech time limit uh, on the in-room display screen there. Uh, and you can also see the NFC card I referred to just now. And then a the bit further up the scale again, this is the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh, a long-standing shore institution. Some government meetings the venues have unique architectural limitations or mounting constraints, and we just can't use the standard units. Sometimes customers want to have the feature set laid out slightly differently than standard. Some just want it to look a little bit different because they can. So, so customization could simply be a case of wanting a different finish to a standard unit, or you know, with whatever choice of colors we have here, or sometimes it could be we need to match other elements in the table. We recently need to do just that for a client in Europe. We were also asked to not have any visible screws. So we took a standard unit and now made it a rear mounting system. Uh, as a consultant from New York commented to one of our colleagues just the other day, visible screws are so 15 years ago. So no matter what functionality is required and what the room looks like, we have the units to try and match that as much as possible to give you the uh, units exactly where you need them and to make them as user friendly as possible. And obviously I've been talking about the audio side of things as that's what we do, but obviously a lot of the functionality that I mentioned earlier in terms of following agendas, conducting voting sessions and so on requires a screens as well. And that's where our collaboration with a specialist screen company such as Arthur Holm comes in. Over to you, Monse. Well, good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and thank you very much, Anthony, for a brilliant presentation. I think I'm having some trouble share, sharing my screen. Okay, here we go. So, well, good afternoon from Rindy Barcelona today. And let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Monse Romero and I am responsible for international sales at Arthur Home. Well, you heard Anthony saying that Shure is a company which is specialized in sound a company that takes audio very seriously. And I must say that Arthur Home is a company which takes video very seriously too, and also design and customization. And we together, Sure and Arthur Home, we take audio and video technologies to a next level. And this next level is the integration with interior design, with the furniture, and with the corporate identity of each conference room. We also believe that there is not an ideal meeting room or conference room. Indeed, instead, there are particular needs in terms of design and in terms of functionality in each room. And this is what we do. We listen very carefully to the architects. We listen very carefully to the space planners. We listen very carefully to the end users. And of course, we listen very carefully to our partners, AV system integrators, in order to provide tailor-made technology to fulfill these requirements. We do believe that meeting spaces are more important than ever. Meeting spaces are unique spaces, and especially in these strange times that we are living in this COVID situation, we are all using tools such as Zoom. Who heard about Zoom like uh, six months ago, right? We use BlueJeans, we use Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, GoToWeminar as we're using right now. And we have all learned that these are extremely useful tools. They are efficient, they are easy to use, they help us save a lot of money since we don't need to travel as often as we did before. They are really, really good. But we have also learned that face-to-face -face communication is unbeatable. There is a reason why we are all eager to travel again, while we are all eager to go to exhibitions again, and now we need to see each other. We need to remember that 93% of communication is non-verbal and that many sensations cannot travel through the net. This is why we need to pay special attention to this nonverbal communication during a meeting. And this is why the important decisions 
the critical decisions, the strategic decisions, they will always be made presential. And this is why the meeting and the conference room is a crucial place. We also believe that end users will invest their budgets, they will invest their money in creating experiences. This means that we don't need to think in designing a meeting room, we don't need to think in designing a conference room. Instead, we need to think how we will inspire the users in a room, how we can help them to become creative, how we can help them to become more participative, more efficient and more productive. And of course, meeting attendees should focus on the content of a meeting. This is something which is obvious. But if we want them to engage, to participate, to have brilliant ideas, we need to create inspiring environments. And we do this through technology, through movement, and through the design. As Anthony said, there is not an ideal meeting room. Instead, we need to pay attention to the different needs of each particular room. But we can give you some guidelines in order to create something special. So first of all, we believe that the meeting room should be flexible. And what does flexible mean? As technology manufacturers, we should respect the design, the shape and the construction materials of the table. We should be capable to store away the technology when it's not needed by the push of a button. And we should be capable to leave the smallest footprint on the coordinator. Flexibility also means that the table should have the capacity to adapt to different communication needs, maybe to different number of persons, and maybe to different shapes. And being able to share, to hide the technology provides this flexibility and as a consequence, a faster return on investment. And this is extremely important, especially now uh, when we will see that budget will be reduced. So a meeting room should be fun. And it's not fun to find a table with plenty of messy cables. It's not fun to find a table untidy. It's not fun when we have issues with the compatibility of resolutions, when we have difficulties sharing the contents of our own devices. There is no fun if we cannot be seen or heard correctly. Of course, we are all uh, technology manufacturers, both Shure and us. So uh, we need, of course, to provide the latest uh, up-to-date technology. But technology should be at our side and not in our way. Technology should help and inspire. It should be intuitive, easy to use, and of course, it needs to be beautiful. Technology doesn't need to be ugly. And very important, it needs to be personalized. Everything in the meeting room should be designed for that particular meeting room. Let's make the end user feel special. Let's make them feel important. They are indeed important because they need to take crucial, they need to take critical decisions. So let's personalize the technology for them. And this is also a way to create focus and to create inspiration. Let me show you a small, a short video about art of home concept of a meeting and a conference room. So first of all, a meeting room should be easy to control. Monitors, microphones, speakers, cameras, all should be remotely controllable. And if it can be from our cell phone, the easiest, the better. The user should be able to concentrate in the presentation. Time is money and there is no time to waste in a meeting. Everything should work through a single click. And this is why we have done, we have created this application, which is called Age Link, that you can download for free. And the Age Link is a wireless application that allows the whole system to be managed and it provides an easy and direct access to the most common settings. And therefore, it makes the startup and future interventions hassle free for the users. This is the interior part of the table. Of course, the end users will not see that, but we all know that we have cables, we have different devices, and everything needs to be integrated. And the only thing that the user needs to see is the technology when it's needed. As I said before, we should respect the furniture design by leaving the smallest footprint on it. And this is what we have done with our concept, which is called Undercover. Undercover is a patented solution for vertically retractable monitors for our Dynamic 2 and Dynamic X2. And it comprises an automated cover plate, which automatically slides down inside the furniture 
And this has been especially created to be veneer. It allows to conceal monitor. It allows to conceal, you can see here, discussion system. You can uh, see in the close-up, you can see how we integrate the sure speak and mute buttons that are the buttons and the other electronics inside our system. So we provide a solution which comprises two different brand solutions. And this is a very flexible solution. Indeed, you can integrate not only discussion system, but we can also integrate any kind of connectors that you need. So you avoid having an external cable carry solution. We can integrate RG45, we can integrate HDMI, we can integrate USB for power, we can integrate a USB pass-through in case that you have a computer inside the table and you need to access to it. We can integrate power, even a small speaker. And this is how it will look when the system is hidden inside the desk. So any, you cannot see any kind of different material. There is no aluminium, there is no stainless steel, there is absolutely nothing. And this is how it looks. You can see it here for real. So we can have even a retractable cable. We can add a retractable HDMI cable. So we have monitor, we have retractable gooseneck microphone. We can integrate as many connectors as we want. And here you can see an HDMI cable. So the user can connect and can share the contents of their own devices of course to the screen and they can also decide if they want to share this content with the rest of monitors connected in a daisy chain topology. This is a solution as I said totally flexible and it's available for monitors from 12 up to 24 inches. This is a different solution. In this case we do have a physical cover plate which is visible on top of the table. This is made of brushed stainless steel it contains a dynamic two monitor, as I said before, available from 12 up to 24 inches. You can control the up and down movement of the monitor through these buttons that you have on the cover plate. We have also customized by integrated a gooseneck microphone. We have the push to talk, we have the mute buttons, and we can also integrate voting features. So if the user needs to vote, we can integrate a slot for voting card and we can integrate, you can see probably clear, here we can integrate the buttons for yes, no, abstain. This is another solution. This monitor is called Dynamic 3 and it's called Dynamic 3 because it's a horizontal solution which allows three different movements. So we can open, we can close and we can rotate the monitor 180 degrees. In this case, we have integrated a boundary microphone. So we have to listen very carefully to the user needs. If they need a Kuznick microphone, we'll do so. And we can attract this microphone. If they want to have a boundary microphone, we can also do that. Again, we integrate the mute and the speak buttons directly from Sure. And you can see that here we personalize as well by adding a USB connector. Everything is made of aluminum. This is a solid block of aluminum. It's anodized and it provides this silky effect. Very elegant. We can also add voting if it's necessary. So the slot for the card. And the buttons, yes, no, abstain. And Dynamic 3, it's a very versatile solution, very flexible, because the user can work with the screen flat on the table, with a touch screen, which is a feature, which is an option for all our product brands. The user can work with a monitor in vertical position with a tilt of up to 20 degrees, and the screen can be retracted, can be hidden inside the desk, of course, with the screen facing down. And this is Dynamic Top B. So you heard Anthony talking about the fantastic MXA 310. So what we did here is a solution that allows the users to hide this microphone. By the way, I liked a lot the pizza <laughs> slide concept. So you can hide this device inside of the table. So this is a mechanical system which has different movements. First of all, we have a rotation and then we lift it up. There is a button on the cover plate which allows the movement to be activated. Let me show it to you. So you can control it locally by pushing the button or you can also control it by using the H-Link. The product is powered over Ethernet. 
And we have developed an electronic that talks directly to the Shure electronic, meaning that the, when the microphone is up, it will go on. When the microphone is hidden, it's stored inside the desk, it automatically goes up. So we can have a compact wow factor and a very high quality solution. This is a different solution. This product is called Dynamic Speaker, and this includes a speaker. So it's a complete solution, including the speaker. The mechanical system, the mechanism, is very similar to the mechanism of Dynamic Talk B. So it also has a rotation and then a lift up movement. But this is the speaker. It's an active speaker, 360 degrees, and it provides excellent speech intelligibility in meeting and in conference spaces. This is because the sound is spread horizontally on the desk, and probably you will have the gooseneck capsule pointing at the person who is going to speak, and we can interpret the speakers in the center of the table. And because this natural dispersion of the sound that is very high gain before feedback, meaning that the echo effect is very small. You also heard Anthony explaining how important are the acoustics in a room. So this is a product which also improves, helps improving the acoustic of in a room. So of course we'll create an experience when we see the movement, when we see this beautiful speaker appearing from the table itself. And it's very easy to integrate. So we have one of the systems which can integrate the standard one from the top of the table with a cover plate. We have a stainless steel cover plate and we have a second version to be integrated underneath the table, which can be veneered. So again, the impact on the design of the furniture is minimum because you will not see any kind of different material on top of the table itself. And of course, everything is controllable through the edge link. And this is an example. I think this video is perfect to explain the undercover concept. So we have here a very high-end meeting room, very classic meeting room in Spain. We have a beautifully, a beautiful table, also very classic, made of wood. And what we have done here, we have supplied Dynamic X2, customized with Sure discussion system and with our undercover solution. So when the technology is not needed, we don't see anything. It becomes totally invisible. We only see a fantastic wood table, nothing else. And this is what undercover is about. Respect the furniture design, create the minimum impact on the design of the table. This is another example. In this case, there is actually a physical color plate. And because of the layout, because of the interior design of the room with a lot of gold components, we provided the solution here, which is a dynamic X2 talk, customized short discussion system, gold plated. It has a flash of 24 carats of real gold. So I'm sure that the meeting attendees who have had the opportunity to go into this meeting will remember the experience. Here we have another example. In this case, same situation. They wanted the gold, glossy finish. So we provided Dynamic X2 chalk customized with short discussion system and gold plated. And this is a different case and different scenario. In this case, also, the user wanted the gold finish, but much more discreet. They didn't want it to shine. They didn't want it to be glossy. So this is gold, but this is satin gold. So it's a different treatment. So as I say, we listen very carefully to the requirements, to the users, to the architects, to the interior designer needs. And then we come with a tailor-made solution, in this case, in satin gold. So we have at the left-hand side, dynamic talk, satin gold, on the right hand side, dynamic to talk, customized for sure, everything finished with a satin non um, with a satin gold, which give an effect of velvety. It's very silky, it's very discreet, and it's very elegant. This is another case. The challenge here was the space. So there was not much space between the different meeting attendees. So what we did here was to integrate dynamic talk customized for sure in front of the screen instead of integrating it beside, alongside the monitor itself. So we optimized the space, we made it easier for the user, we made it easier also for the furniture manufacturer. And in this case, we painted the cover plate in black because this was one of the requirements of the interior design. 
So we listen, we adapt, we come with different solutions in terms of material, but also we can change components and we can adapt to 100% to what is required. In this case, this is dynamic free. Remember the monitor with three movements, open, close, rotate, also can be supplied with keyboard and mouse. Touch screen is an option for our product range. Camera can also be integrated. In this case, the user wanted to have always access to the microphone and not always to the screen. So the only device that moves here is the screen. The microphone is always visible, is always accessible for the user. So this is another solution. We also integrated a USB connector, by the way. This is another solution, same and different. So they also, the user also wanted to have access to the microphone. So once again, we integrated a fixed microphone. The microphone does not move. What moves here is the screen, but this is a vertical screen. This is our Dynamic X2. And we have two microphones because in this case, two meeting attendees would share one of the screens, one screen, one only screen. And this is another example. Here we are um, combining Dynamic 3 with Dynamic X2, customized in this case with boundary sure microphones. And this is also quite common because the secretary or the chairman of the meeting, they need to interact. So this is why they need keyboard and mouse, or they could also do it through a touch screen if they prefer. And then the rest of meeting attendees would only view the presentation. I'm sorry for the quality of this video. This is on in our manufacturing uh, factory in Barcelona. But as an example, so this is a dynamic free talk which has been customized with Sure MXC 420 in this case. And we have a totally aluminium monitor like Dynamic 3 is entirely built in aluminium, mechanized and anodized aluminium. Three movements, the screen opens, closes and rotates. We can have also keyboard and mouse which can be hidden inside the desk as well. Personalization, we customize by adding the logo type of the customer. And this solution provides a lot of flexibility because the user can decide if they only want the microphone, if they only need it to work with the screen, if they want both, or if they want the table to be totally free of any component. So we do test the integration of Sure in our factory. We have testing equipment. So what the user receives is a product, which, as I say, is composed by different products. But they receive one only solution that has been fully tested. We test the movements. We test the audio system as well. And of course, we provide full warranty on our devices. And it might be that the meeting room does not, uh, do not need uh, screens and that the only requirement is for microphones. And this is why we have our dynamic talk customized for sure and XC420. So the call plate slides down. And then we will have a gooseneck microphone appearing. And we will also make appear the buttons, the push to talk and the mute buttons from Shure. So from a system integrator point, point of view, you need to connect to the central control unit and you will have a retractable audio conference system. We can also customize the cover plate. We can add different connectors, USB, HDMI, we can add small speaker if you need. So this is totally flexible and this is our specialty. And this is an example, a real example of a combination of Dynamic Talk B with MXA 310 and with Dynamic Speaker. We are actually using this in our facilities in Barcelona. And uh, you will see that the quality of the sound is really good, that there is no feedback at all. And we use it ourselves for video conferencing. And I think that this is a perfect solution, not only for conference and meeting rooms, but also for video conferencing, for hazardous spaces, for co working spaces. And why not for working from home? Good morning, Alvaro. Good morning, Jose. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. How is your day so far? Everything okay? Yeah, great. Okay, so did you go blog? The blog? Yeah, completely. It's Spanish and English. So I'm going to check it and then I'll call you back, okay? Okay, perfect. Talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. And this is what we do at Factor Home. We take audio and video technologies to a next level. And this next level, as I said before, is the integration with interior design, with the furniture, 
and with the corporate identity of each conference room. So thank you very much for your time. And now I'm giving the word to Mr. Javier Meana from GMM. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monse. Uh, well, hello everyone. My name is Javier Meana. I am the sales manager in JMM. JMM is a Spanish manufacturer of high-end business furniture. We manufacture furniture for top management areas, a desk, and also, a, well, especially boardroom tables. This is what normally we receive from the customer. We receive an old, a picture of an old uh, office or an old boardroom uh, area, and this is what we what we present. We present a uh, key solutions for offices and especially for boardroom table. Even if the project uh, is worldwide, uh, normally we fly over and we never leave the customer alone in front of this challenging installation. So now we fly over and we install all the equipment until uh, the very last piece. Especially nowadays, when furniture and technology are intimately linked, the term high tech in the office might conjure up a vision of exposed cables and cold metal furniture. But much has changed over the last few years, and technology now serves to make a space more inviting, comfortable, and productive. To create inspiring conference furniture is the key. We need to create experience. Also, as we move toward flexible work environments, we have to provide more flexible furniture. Having monitorized devices that can disappear in the table itself. Provide all the above, inspiration, the wow effect, effectiveness and productivity. Going forward, the challenge for furniture designers is to manage increasingly complex technology and facilitate a seamless integration into their designs. However, whilst technology should support the environment, it shouldn't be a key visual feature on the environment. Instead, is the converge of architecture, furniture, and technology that will be vital to successfully meeting changes business needs and encouraging effective meetings space in the future. The furniture, the furniture is to create beautiful, personalized, and flexible conference spaces. This is what architects are looking for, and this is what JMM does. We listen to the architects, a space planner, and interior designers and of course, to the end customer. We find out their needs and then, in combination with companies such as Arthur Holm and Shure, we design a best pop solution where high-end furniture is combined with the best technology. And this is important that you choose the right partners since we supply premium products, beautiful furniture and technology that needs not only to integrate neatly and perfectly, but to last. A conference table is a long-term investment, and this is why only the best manufacturer should be considered. As we have all said, there is not a perfect meeting or conference table. The table will depend on each particular customer needs. During this presentation, you have seen different shapes of bottle. We work with different materials as well, such as veneer, stainless steel, leather, lacquer, and we adapt the shape of the bottle to the shape of the room. We make easy what is not. We design our furniture taking into consideration the cable management, the accessibility to electronics, the ventilation, etc. And before I end my speech, I would like to show you a case of a studio. One of our customers is Aramco uh, in Saudi Arabia. And Aramco approaches us, giving us a 2D drawing that you can see. 
So JMM, in collaboration with Sugar and Arthur Holm, get back uh, to the uh, drawing with uh, the integration of the technology. Aramco approved, and this is the end result. This is what the end customer received. So if uh, any of you have a chance to supply a boardroom table surrounded with this nice technology, just let us know. Thank you very much. And I give you the word to Anthony to continue the speech. Thank you. Thank you, Monza. Thank you, Javier, for those very informative presentations. Uh, so, in basically three very different companies specializing in different fields, but combining their skills to provide a complete solution um, that the customers require. As Joyce mentioned at the beginning of this webinar, we'll be sending out the recording of it to you all uh, very soon, and we'll now field any questions you may have submitted through the text option. But should you feel you have something more specific you wish to discuss, please feel free to get in contact with any of today's speakers. I'll leave this slide up for a few minutes so you can figure out how to track us down. Uh, and now, Joyce, uh, for any Q&A, uh, have we got any information come in, please, or any requests? Um, thank you again, all speakers. Thank you all for uh, joining us today. We have only a few questions come, that came in. Uh, first question is actually for Monse. And if I read it correctly, um, are the Arthur Home screens connected to a PC or they are a standalone machine? Sorry, Monse, I think you're muted. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, they are monitors. They are monitors only. They are not PCs. So you only need to you actually need to feed the monitor with an input. So they have a standard, they have a two DVI inputs. And they are only screens, they are only monitors. So there is no, no, not an embedded PC. So you need to create the system integration, including the PC or the video source that you wanna use. Thank you, Monte. And I think the next question, there's only one additional question also to you, Monte. So with COVID-19, the meeting rooms we have been limited to seat half the people they used to seat. Therefore, for large meeting rooms, we covered auditorium into meeting rooms. That came with it, with its own challenge as we had to keep two meters between each person and get better cameras as well as audio solution. Since this was a makeshift room, we had to use mobile uh, solutions since the room changes depending on the number of attendees. How can we accommodate these, dark, these desk screen on furniture that is not permanent? Well, I think this is one of the advantages and this is a very interesting question. Because with our technology, you can decide if you want to have one of the screens down, then you can see people more separated. So you don't need to have all the screens up. You can decide if you want to leave one screen in the middle down, so people have two meters between them. So this is one of the main advantages of having retractable technology, because it provides this flexibility. So you can decide uh, how many users you want to have in the room. So and this is one of the things that we were pointing out, that you can accommodate the room to different number of meeting attendees and therefore respect the legal space that we will have to leave between meeting attendees. Thank you, Monte. Um, I'm not receiving any additional uh, questions so far. We'll give it a minute in case someone would like to submit a question. And meanwhile, I'll just do a reminder that we will be sharing by email all the recording and the details, the, the contact details of all our guests. So you'll be able to speak to them uh, later as well. Oh, question came in. If we are working on a project and would like to integrate those solutions together, who do we contact? Arthur Home or Shore, who supplies the solution? Um, if okay. I just jump in there, I mean, I suppose whichever, of the, of the contacts that you, you, you have here um, that's going to be most applicable for your time zone. Start on that. Uh, we will talk to each other uh, and make sure that we get a you know, good collaborative answer back to you. So whether you start with Monse uh, from the screen side and then she brings us on board for the audio or vice versa. Uh, and as Javier actually said in one of our dry runs for this, he said, I'm sorry to tell you, but without the table, this stuff is just sitting on the floor. So, you know, if we all have to come on board together and give you the right solution, that's absolutely fine. We'll happily do that. Whatever is most comfortable for the customer, no problem. 
Yeah, and I think it's important that, that that you talk directly also as well with us because then we can customize, we can understand what what are the requirements, and we can come all together with a solution that fits the customer, the user needs. Thank you both. I don't think any questions are coming in. I think it was pretty comprehensive. Well done, Monte, Javier, Anthony. Thank you again, everyone, for participating with us. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, our guest speakers, and wishing everyone a lovely rest of the day. See you again online very soon. Thank you, Joyce, for keeping us all in control. And have a good day, everybody. Thanks very much. Take care. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. We do have one question that just uh. came in. Uh, can Monse arrange furniture from GMM? Uh, no, we, we don't we don't sell furniture at all. I think that you have to contact uh, Javier directly. But we, but we, are, but we don't supply furniture. But we are very close, very close to each other, and uh, we don't have any any problem in order to share the information of the screens. Uh, the, the screens itself. Uh, we have in the factory, and uh, uh, the, 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 the unique thing is that you you need to have two invoices, one Arthur Holm and one uh, JMM. It's separate, separate products, separate containers, separate uh, HS codes, etc. So, but there is no problem from our side. Thanks again, everyone. Wishing you a lovely day. I think we will end soon since no more questions are coming in. Thank you guys so much. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.